Hey guys, welcome back. It's it's time. We're going to address the video from yesterday and the absolute storm of butt hurtedness that was Twitter. My God, it was a lot of butt hurt. So uh, we put out this video here called "The Unreleased Pokemon Staff Promos Are Stolen Until Proven Otherwise." I put this video out because not only did we have a PTCG Radio video that lacked, I guess, receipts, the necessary information, mixed with the fact that I received countless questions, emails, contacts from people that had these cards and all the people that had the cards could not verify the origin, not to mention the fact that we had something uh, over here. This is the CGC. CGC. This is a better better shot that we were supposed to use. CGC uh, grading stolen unreleased staff promos question mark face. Uh, I think they were. There was no indication I, we got to admit when we were wrong, we'll have to, we'll apologize to the Wasi. I, I am very sorry for hurting your feelings. And I am also sorry that I did not realize that some were actually released. Now we got a bunch of information out of this that we're going to take a look at. We're going to take a look at everything today. Uh, so not all of them are stolen, just some of them. So um, that's a little bit important here. Uh, I think it's probably safe to say that no one was getting them. Uh, more than two months ago. I, I put this video out on, on March 6th. So pay attention to the dates here. Those are very important. Uh, we have March 6th, 2023 that I put out this video where CGC had time to receive a card from someone who obtained the card somehow that we don't know how they did. Uh, this isn't a new thing for CGC. They've been informed in the past of cards that were stolen and they graded them. So I thought this was another rinse and repeat. Uh, it was weird to me. And I, I will admit, I didn't get all the information. Uh, mostly, I think, due to the fact that a lot of the people that own the cards now do not want to share information on the cards. Because if they bought them from a game store, uh, the game store can get in a lot of trouble. For anyone that doesn't know, the rules and regulations are, if you're a game store, you are not allowed to sell any of the stuff that you get for these events in your store. You're not allowed to sell it. You're not allowed to just be like, ooh, I'm keeping them. I'm selling them. So if they sold them off to somebody else, clearly they don't want it backtracked to them. Where they're going to get in trouble, they're going to lose their ability to run these events. And I think that's why we have a little bit of the shadows, the shadows of doubt all over. But I think every single person that uh, that took the time to send me some receipts, we are going to take a look at those. Uh, and it's important that we clear things up here. So I think the first thing, the, uh, the thumbnail, I don't have the thumbnail up here, so... Uh, we should adjust the thumbnail in the last video, uh, and maybe I'll do that uh, when this video comes out. But it should say it shouldn't say no research. It says it should say minimum, minimum, or minimal, minimal research. So I I don't know whether or not he actually saw the emails from Pokemon, but we have them now. Uh, indicating that they, they were sending this stuff. He didn't include it in his slideshow video. It seems like something that he could easily include in his slideshow videos, but but he didn't. So, again, I, I, don't know what, I don't know what to tell you. I don't think you saw those beforehand. I think maybe you did get the information from uh, some game stores, which is awesome, and it was correct information. Uh, I just think maybe there should have been a little bit more to back it up. So that's what we're, that's what we're doing here today. My apologies for anyone that got their panties in a bunch. We're going to take a look uh, at the, well, I guess what remains uh, of the Wasi meltdown, uh, including the DM. So you're probably going to want to stick around to the end of that. He he did delete all his tweets, but unfortunately it doesn't it doesn't let him delete his DMs that he sent to me. So we are going to read those. Okay, on to, uh, I guess, some of the evidence here. We're not necessarily going to show all of it, but just enough to give you guys a little taste a lot of this is not in English. Being in, in Europe, we got to, we got some Spanish cards uh, that have been sent out. It's weird to me that like more of it hasn't shown up, but I guess, and again, that largely due to the reasons that they they weren't officially obtained from what we know until recently, and there was no actual statement by the Pokemon Company. It was just kind of a here's your list of stuff that you're getting, and uh, and they kind of included that on the list. My apologies that this is a little blurry. It's kind of blown out. But uh, here's the example email here, uh, and you see here that they do say that you're getting the promo cards from Sword and Shield. Um, it does not say that they're staff in the, I guess, in the translation, unless I'm just really bad at translating. Um, but uh, again, Spanish is not exactly my forte, um, but uh, to 
that would what you will. We have the English version of it does but specify that they're staff, sword, and shield promos. Uh, it doesn't say which ones, but I assume that it's the ones that were included. So, also, I, it, here's what we're we're dealing with here. We have what was stolen. I think similar to a situation uh, with the 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 special delivery Charizard where some of it was stolen. Maybe it was stolen from this distribution, and that's why we saw some of the very early copies uh, in the UK. Uh, I think there was some that popped up in Australia. It was the UK, I think, and Australia probably as well. Uh, we can take a look back at that. But uh, but yeah, it looks. Whoa, look, look what we produced. Weird. Some awesome receipts that should have been included uh, in both of our videos. But uh, again, uh, this was nowhere to be found. I guess it, it wasn't really an important piece. It was an important piece. It was an important piece the whole time. Um, but also very important that we take a look at the, the date here. We got the 15th of May. So again, this is recent. That older stuff, the stuff that got graded by CGC, the Cinderace and all that. The Cinderace is a whole nother battle. Um, you might remember the Wasi got a raging erection for the Cinderace, the Cinderace that doesn't have any sort of proven provenance in any way. And don't worry, we're gonna get, we're gonna touch on that a little bit again. Uh, but I I just think that even if we want to argue the fact that again, I, my video was flawed because I didn't have this very important information. Um, but outside of that, there still is illegitimate copies. There still are those other sets that were not released in the same way. Why they weren't, we're going to see if we can find out. That would be awesome if we can. Um, and if we do, I will certainly let you guys know what's going on with that. Uh, that's it's interesting stuff to me. So here we got, the, we got some English promos on the display cab. Very nice. Uh, and then here we have the English. So it says Sword and Shield pre-release staff cards. So nice to see Retailer Europe same email kind of uh, system whether it's in english or not uh, that's what we're dealing with and it's nice to see it come from multiple sources uh, and again i think everyone that took the time to uh, to actually send this stuff you you did it you're the best and again i don't think myself uh nor rossi mcwasi saw any of this beforehand but it's very nice it, again he did he didn't have this to show me at the time uh as we'll see so I, I don't think he's seen it, but it's nice that it exists on top of the fact that you have several locations that are confirming the fact that they did actually receive them and they have pictures of the cards. We're going to touch. Don't worry. We're going to touch on later on here. We have we have another uh, special guest from the, from the, the video yesterday uh, that we're going to uh, we're going to take a look at what what he was up to. He came into the discord. The discord was pumping was absolutely pumping yesterday. You guys should be in there. If you're not in there, join the Discord. Um, whether you want to argue, whether you want to be in there and chill, whether you want to do a little bit of both, every, everybody's welcome. Come on, come on in. It's, it's a good time. So, probably not a surprise to anyone, and it's okay. We're going to take a look. We, we're going to have to use our imagination a little bit. We do have some screenshots, but uh, we have uh, our boy Ross blo blocked me. I'm I'm deeply saddened. I won't be able to see his beautiful posts anymore without going incognito mode. What will I do? All right. So, uh, yes. Also, blocked me, but then also deleted all his mess of a meltdown. I guess you would want to call it. Um, again, I, I, yes, I was critical. Yes, I was. It was a little bit mean to tell him that he makes twelve minute videos about cards that aren't playable, trying to convince you that they are. And, and yes, that I was trying to be funny. And, and it was a little, it was a little mean spirited. It was a little bit too much. Um, also, we we got to give a, a nice shout out to Celio's Network, the absolute crybabyingest crybaby on all of the internet. Uh, good work. You you've really outdone yourself every single time. I've never seen someone cry quite like you. And we're on Twitter here, so keep that keep that <laughs> in perspective. <laughs> So for anyone that missed it, uh, it was essentially the it was it was the Wasi, it was PTCG Radio, basically the whole day. It was just it was just nonstop. He was doing a countdown. He was reminding everyone every fifteen minutes. I'm exaggerating, chill. I'm exaggerating, uh, but constantly reminding people that he taught law classes. I guess 
Um, it's weird because when when you say that you taught law classes, it's weird that you also didn't teach the fact that if you're if you're going to pursue some kind of legal action, then you you, you probably shouldn't publicly be stating it over and over again. It's it's not a good look. Uh, not to mention the fact that clearly uh, I was missing information. So where where is there is there malice, on man? Yes, I was being a a wiener baby dick, a little bit, yeah. Um, and you know what? No, I know you asked me like six thousand times uh, to remove the video, and uh, the threat of lawsuits and or flagging me was, uh, I guess, your method of doing so. Whether it was on the DMs, whether it was publicly in front of people, a little bit of a call to action, maybe was that what it was? I I, I gotta tell you, I false claims that you're going to sue me, it doesn't matter. I don't give a shit. Fuck off. Regardless, back on track here. We got we to gotta keep the language in check. I know there was a couple people upset about that. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Also, can you, can you guys please at least watch the video before like, you criticize it? I know that we were missing a key piece of information, but the rest of the video pretty much stands up to what it was. It was. I'm sorry. Again, Wasi, I'm sorry. That I called your videos lazy. I'm lazy too sometimes. I don't like to edit. This one here, I gotta chop it into pieces probably because there's a bunch of different stuff that I want to show on screen. Uh, but uh, but other than that, I get it. A slideshow is probably pretty easy to slap together. Not asking people for emails. That that that's the. I didn't mean I didn't mean your entire process and career is lazy. I meant just more so that video in particular, not showing what you needed to show. Uh, and then also the the fact that you didn't know that uh, Silver Tempest was released already. I guess it wasn't released in most places in Europe at that point in time. So then maybe that's a little little bubble action that's going on. You, you didn't see that North America got those and that they returned. I don't know. Did he make a video on them coming back? Someone did. I didn't. Someone must have at some point, I'm sure. Regardless, uh, you you were missing all the information on the the stuff earlier. So when I'm telling you things like maybe you shouldn't make videos like this and lend authenticity to something that shouldn't have it, um, not only am I coming from a place where I don't have the information that we get to see from uh, this debacle on uh, de debacle 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 on Twitter. Uh, where everyone is is willing to to throw us some some beautiful information that I think was very valuable and it's kind of a win. I know, I know, it's it's hard to believe, but it's kind of a win. And uh, <laughs> in my, I'm sorry to laugh. This is the whole situation is hilarious. Uh, it was it was essentially just a you know daily video. It wasn't like some super project that I was working on forever. Uh, it was more just frustration that anytime I talked to anyone about these cards that own them. They didn't want to tell me where they got them. We saw previously, um, and we now know that the ones previously definitely weren't obtained by legitimate means. I don't say definitely. So we talk in absolutes here, um, accidentally sometimes. But you got to know, the vast majority of my content is my opinion. It's, uh, it should be clear as day that it is. And, um, and no, and if you chop, we're going to take a look. He's going to chop up my stuff to try and make it look like and like saying that he's never. We'll, we'll get to that point. All right. So uh, here we go. Um, I asked him, was there document documentation to go with it? So he like tagged a bunch of people. Uh, one of the people that he tagged, we're going to take a look at them. It's pretty interesting that uh, he was a, a source uh, for the video. Um, and, but he had never talked to him, talked to them before, before the, the video that he made. So it's weird that his, his expectation is the fact that I have all the information that's available now back when I made the video, but he's not expected to, to know everything outside of his video that he didn't include. It's weird. It's like, it's like you start adding some extra notes on the back end of it and you're like, what the hell? See, it was all there the whole time. 
I will get statements from my friends in game stores. I will share them here. That is proof of the truth of my statement. You called it a lie as therefore false. You published it to third parties. It's designed to make me look bad. A classic defamation. I'm reporting 5 p.m. tomorrow. So here's like some of the countdown. He did like in an hour I'm doing it. In like five minutes I'm doing it. Or I'll, I think he did it in the DMs too. I don't know. I lost track of how many times he actually like gave me the countdown. I thought maybe there was going to be a spaceship or some crap that would go off at the end. It didn't. It was, it, all he did was block me, I guess. It was a countdown to block me. Shouldn't you already have the receipts since you claim to have done the research prior to your video? Do you have the receipts for the Chilling Rain Cinderace that you pumped as well? And these were obtained in a shady way. So, like, the Cinderace, but also we'll, we'll see some other stuff that was, again, it was outside of the video. But I think you got to take all that stuff into consideration when you're making the video. You're pumping an item that you don't know if it has actual provenance. And I know people are like, oh, I pulled it. I pulled it. It's, it's the same thing with, like, people taking a picture of something at a Target. Um, like, I'm going to go, I'll, I'll, let me just grab one of my old boxes and uh, I'll bring it in to, bring it into a Walmart, snap a picture of it, and make everyone lose their crap. I, or, like, stick a vintage pack in under a shelf and pretend that you pulled it out of there. That was a thing, right? On Twitter today? Yesterday? Um, so, he says, I am talking about the, the video posted today. It is libelous because it claims I covered stolen cards. I have now proven I haven't. You have to delete the video or I will have to report it for defamation. I taught law. This is textbook. I have proven as you asked. Smiley face. I don't know if it's like a, is it like a nervous thing that you put smiley faces after all your crap? Or is it that you're still in grade school teaching? defamation law what is it what is it <laughs> it's uh, we'll see too like then like the when i talked to him prior to this he does the same crap i don't know it's like it's like i'm talking to a fucking three-year-old <laughs> what the fuck i'm sorry we, we gotta chill we gotta chill we don't want to we don't want to upset him hurt his feelings again it's gonna be all right man freaking sensitive I will not be sharing private conversations that happened in the past, as that is impolite, hence getting confirmation now. But that confirmation proves the cards are legit. It proves I asked. It proves your video is a lie. So, wait. It proves I asked. So it proves that you asked somebody before if they got them? I mean, I'm, I'm not really even doubting that at this point. I I totally believe that you, you asked some people if they got them, and they did. I mean, you probably should have really checked, and uh, it's weird that this whole situation is the only reason that we're actually seeing the full information and the documentation. The documentation is probably the most important part and should have been in your slideshow. I mean, I should have had the, the cards that were actually released in my slideshow to go along with the ones that were probably stolen prior to that, the, you know, the ones that happened before the 15th of this month, like the ones that were months ago that CGC graded. Right? Right? I think it goes without saying, guys, do not bother anyone that's involved with this. We're, I'm fine. I'm going to be alright. It's Do not do not be mean to anyone. I mean, I, I was kind of mean. But, uh, I think this is one of the funniest things. Um, the, the, when, when the fake outrage, the fake Twitter outrage really is trying to get you and they will pretend to be fans. They're going to pretend to be a long-time viewer. I watched you up until the last minute and now you've ruined everything for me. I can't believe you're such a terrible person and I spent so many hours watching your crap. Uh, so <laughs> we have here, I'm so sorry, I liked Rattle a few years ago, but over and over again accuses people of shit without any proof and then asks all high and mighty about it and refuses to take accountability. Rattle, if you're seeing this, delete the video. Don't be a baby. Um, I have bad news for you, Bobby. If you're going to pretend to be a fan, at least just go scroll back and find the oldest video that I posted. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't really making videos three years ago, a few years ago. Yeah, tr try harder. All right. So we have, uh, some interesting conversations that stemmed off the, the Twitter post that he made about his video that he posted um, and, uh, so keep in mind, this is all information that he had and did not include in his, uh, in his video. 
uh, more important on the next one than this one. Um, but we have Apple Apple here that says this was from a while ago and all four cards are sealed in it. Have seen some battle styles, but no fusion strike. Hopefully they all come out at some stage. Uh, and we have Ross saying, "Ooh, where was this from?" So, you you covered you covered this. You don't think even for a second that maybe this came from uh, some sketchy means because they weren't included in any of your sources. These chilling rain, these chilling rain promos. Remember, um, remember the stories about how they were pulled out of. They, these were not. This is a set of four. Remember, but they were, they were. People were pulling them. I think it was two examples that people were claiming that they pulled them uh, from the pre-release kits. So, first off, I don't know how that happens where that gets mixed up because it would be like a separate batch. And it's a separate process. It's a separate after the fact to get the staff stamp on there. But um, also, we're we just going to we gonna ignore this one here. Is this one stolen? Wasi, do you have, do you have receipts for this one? Or the Cinderace that you were dry humping in your video? No? Okay. Just just checking. All right. More importantly, over here. Uh, Ger, Gerduli. Dooley. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Uh, but uh, but yeah, we have... Uh, this was one of the sources for Ross. And if you don't, if you don't know Ross... Um, I don't, I don't know him all that well, but I've seen a, I've see, seen a few videos and there's this weird thing where he always says that he wants something in his videos. Uh, and I, again, this is my opinion, but it seems like he's digging a little bit for like people to send him free crap. Uh, when he's saying like, Oh, I really, I really need the Finian. It's my favorite Pokemon and I collect that artist. I need it guys. Uh, <laughs> So his um, his source here, which is pretty funny, uh, this was one of his sources for his, you remember how he said he did the research beforehand? Uh, this person contacted him after he made the video, not e-bagging, guys. He was not e-bagging. It wasn't direct e-bagging. Chill. Wasn't e-bagging. He was maybe hinting at a little e-bag, but he wasn't full on e-bagging. At least it wasn't a GoFundMe frosted caribou style remember that so we have his source here one of i think the four people that he tagged about the you know the legitimacy of the thing that he made the video on um, but he only met this person afterwards and they were offering um offering up that finian i don't know whether or not he actually traded for it or they were giving it to him for free I would imagine there's quite a few people that when he's in a video and he's like oh i really love these promos there's i would I would do anything. I just got to track them down. I'll even probably trade for them. He's probably, yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe he's not banging. Maybe, maybe paid for them, right? Maybe verified that it wasn't like a game store that owned them. It was like some of the worked an event. Surely that's an important part of it, right? We don't know. Let's find out. Maybe, maybe he'll unblock me someday and we can discuss it. I mean, I was open to discussing it with him. I, you know, I didn't tweet as many tweets as he did, but it's hard to keep up when he was, he was going full ape. I guess we should touch on these first before we get into the DMs. We got the, um, uh, a couple of these, I guess it was in the Discord. So we deleted them, but this was like the embed in the Discord uh, where he's doing the play-by-play. -play and he says, I just messaged at Rattle Pokemon to inform him he has one hour to remove the video. I'm bored of this. I want the defamatory video removed. I'm reporting for defamation. And given I can prove his statements are untrue, it should be very, very easy. So, I mean... If if I got sued every time I accidentally said something wrong or was missing a piece of information, we'd be in trouble. We we can even go we can go back to we go let's go back to the good old days of the fake case. There were small details that I'm sure I got wrong, but overall, the message is still there. It's it's all still pretty important. Um, there is still many of these cards that were obtained in illegitimate ways. There's many that are being obtained right now by people that are purchasing from the game store instead of the employees that earn them or should have earned them. Uh, and there's game stores that are should be in a lot of trouble because it's right, there's a clause right in there that says that they cannot sell these items. They either have to be given out at the events, given out to staff at events after that, or destroyed. That's, those are the options. 
So them selling will get them in trouble. All right, we have, oh my God, another one here. He's an at clamp fan. We'll see. Hopefully it gets removed by YouTube, but yeah, it's an option. If not, I've been looking into how to start legal proceedings in Canada. Smiley face like a three-year-old. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thinnest, thinnest skin in the game. Yeah. Wasi. Cool. So, guys, keep in mind that uh, with the 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 Wassinator, we were uh, the entire time I was telling him I was going to make uh, an adjustment. As soon as I saw proof that there were some that were legitimate, legitimately released, I planned on making a follow up video. Um, it would have been a much more kind video if he wasn't if there wasn't a constant uh, threat of of I guess lawsuits and reporting my videos which i i would say is uh, a a false flag i mean is is it defamation did i mean to did i would did i have all the information did he have all the information uh, he did not he did not he he was lacking quite a bit of information i think uh, we both benefited we we both and maybe he should be thanking me because that's probably the most interactions he's received in a very long time uh and then also <laughs> the fact that we got to see what's going on here I personally, I don't care if you and your twit gang want to send mean tweets to me. It's I'm, I'm all right with that. It's for the greater good. Good, good work out there. Tweet gang. You're the best. All right. So haters uh, join the discord. You might remember this was the, the eBay seller um, that was uh, featured in the video. Uh, he's also very upset. And so are his, his posse. Can we can we call them a posse? I don't know. I don't know what they refer to themselves as. The the haters, the hater haters. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, here's we had a little summary here. It says going to address the part where you accused me of selling stolen cards in the video without making any attempt to contact and ask. Then when told you in a comment on the video where and how they came from, you deleted it immediately. Question mark. So I get this all the time. I can promise you, unless it's something, it's got to be really, really bad in order to get deleted by me manually. Uh, if you put a website or something in there, it, it probably just auto flagged and I didn't, I should have, but did not actually go and check to see if it's in there. But I, it's okay. You joined the Discord and we had a chat on there. Good chat. Good chat. These are where the messages are coming from. So if you're not in the Discord, this is the, the action you've been missing out on. It's a wild, wild west in there right now. Hater says, yeah, because the store opens and hands out during pre-release. Most of what's on market right now, store owners have just sold immediately because the events have already finished months ago. So there's nobody to split and hand out to. Ooh, oh no, haters. You're saying that you purchase these directly from the store that isn't supposed to sell them. They're supposed to either give them out at future events to the staff or they are supposed to destroy them. Oh my God. Spoiler alert. You bought them in a sketchy manner. Not necessarily stolen, but the, the game store will get a big fisting by the Pokemon company if they do this. Just a heads up. So, of course, I say, uh, what store did you get buy them from? And he says, gonna get the info off me, then make an apology video saying you were wrong. I'd be fine with that. If you want to throw a store under the bus that's breaking the rules, you know what? I, I will. I absolutely will. I'll save it. I'll even make a whole separate video for you, apologizing to you if you'd like to uh, show us the store that is selling off these these promos instead of giving them to the staff that they were clearly instructed to do. And I say, yep, tell me what store sold you the, with proof that they did, and I will apologize for thinking yours were stolen on like the uh, copies earlier in the year. Hitter says, or how about I give you absolutely jack shit because you're entitled to nothing. So this kind of sums up the the um, the attitude that I've been receiving from most of the people and largely the reason that I didn't think these were ever legitimately released. This is this is the big reason behind it is because as soon as you ask them about any of it, they're like, no, I'm not telling you anything. I would like to advertise my promos on your platform, but I do not want I do not want to tell you where I got them. They will get in trouble. They're not supposed to sell them to me. So, is it as bad as, like, getting them from somebody that sold them? 
No, but at the same time, you got game stores risking risking their biscuits uh, for the sake of making a buck off of these. So maybe it was a good thing that the Pokemon company discontinued these, and I I don't know. I'm kind of kind of seeing it heading back that way. It's unfortunate because the people that that are actually running the events deserve something, uh, because usually they're not actually getting paid. Uh, to run those events, their their payment is essentially the, the promos. Um, so not only did they not get those promos over the, the panty, um, whether or not the events were actually happening, that's a different story. So it's weird. Uh, apparently some European events uh, only, only started up like a month ago or whatever. So weird. They didn't have a lot of stuff going on, but still it it clearly should be given out. Uh, and is in writing by the Pokemon company as part of their agreement by them sending you this crap that you you, you have to you, you don't have a choice I mean you do have a choice you can you can break the rules and you risk not being able to run events ever again uh, and that's that's kind of what we got going on all right let's get in, never mind let's get in the Wasi DMs get on in there okay we're starting off with the uh i guess the first ever time that i sent him a message i uh i wanted to see if he wanted to do any coverage on a uh that was the celebrations steely wheelies the investigation that i was doing on that so i sent him a link to my stuff told him what was going on didn't know if he'd seen it maybe he did maybe he didn't uh but he says hey dude the quick heads up pokemon are not fans of poking leaked or stolen images it's a great way to make sure you never work with them I mean, I could also say dick balls, pussy wussy, elemental P up your B, and they probably also won't want to work with me. So, I mean, if I got to give that up, then <laughs> I always want to cover this stuff, but I never do because it's not worth ruining the relationship. Sorry for messaging with the bad news, small licky face. <laughs> I say, thanks for the heads up. I would rather cover wrongdoings in videos than receive the odd care package from the Pokemon company. I completely understand where you are coming from, though. It's not about the care package. I have never received a care package from uh, the Pokemon company incorporated international. It's about uh, not getting notices from lawyers to remove uh, videos, a small licky face. Several channels did for celebrations. Also, if you're growing the channel, being able to work with them in the future is cool, but it's just advice. You do what's right for your channel. So I don't know, did, did, you, did you teach grade school that you, you have to put smiley licky? Maybe you don't want to put licky faces on a, on a paper. Um, but the smiley faces thing, like what, what in the hell? What the hell? And why? Is it like a sarcasm thing? Or is it just, is it a force of habit? It, it's painful. I've been working alongside the print facilities where the cards were stolen from, as well as the involved private investigators. I find it hard to believe they have anything on me, but also have extremely good lawyers and don't, and not worried about it regardless. As far as I've seen, outside of sending the odd TCG product, TPC does not work with YouTubers. I'm not going to censor my videos in hopes of receiving a booster box from them. So just referring to like the little care package, they'll send you a booster box. So that's it's a booster box and an elite trainer box, though. It's that's okay. Someone else can have that one for me. Who? <laughs> I want I want someone else to get that booster box, not me. We say bad words here. Also. There is the podcast tonight, so if you guys aren't, you know, did you not watch the podcast yet? Watch the podcast. I'll make some posts about it. Join the Discord, it'll be an event in there. It'll tell you when it's going on. Tomorrow, tonight, tonight when this video goes up. As I said before, it's not about the booster boxes. I have never been a Santa booster box. I have, however, worked with uh, them many times, as I have a bunch of others. As for the law, I taught law for many years. It doesn't matter lawyers you have. Posting this is clear and obvious copyright infringement, and the Pokemon Company International will win. Why I stay away? Don't want to lose my channel, smiley face. <laughs> What is it? What, this is like already a theme. This is like long before I made this recent video. So it's like a, it's it's like an ongoing theme of like lawyers and and people taking striking channels. Is that what you're all about? 
Is that is that is this a little foreshadowing here for when I make a silly video criticizing your your video? Then then it then it's you're gonna bring on the, the lawyers and the and the strikes. You're striking me. All right. I say, what have you worked on them with? Worked them on. I don't know what the, I'm drunk here or something. Commenting a whole bunch of tournaments since 2016, voicing videos, other stuff, smiley face. But as I said, I was just meant as a friendly heads up. When I see people posting stuff that could get them in trouble, I'd like to drop a friendly DM to let them know. Apologies if this wasn't wanted. Good luck with all your videos. So, I don't, I, I, I do what? Okay, so I say, it's okay. I appreciate the heads up and concern. I'm not worried about it, though, as this isn't the first time, and I have been heavily involved in the back end of catching the stolen card criminals. Good luck to you as well. And I gave him, I'm pretty sure I gave him a smiley face back because he was dumb and doing smiley faces. So we just, we just got to show him a taste of his own. <laughs> Look, he starts off. Okay, so this is when we get into uh, recent days. This is... This is well, from yesterday, from when this video comes up, from today, from when I'm recording it. He says, hey, I'll take you in a tweet giving four sources for the staff promos being legit. Please delete your video so I don't have to report it for defamation, smiley face. Uh, so he just like keeps doubling down or whatever here. And I uh, just ignored most of them because, again, he's uh, he's on repeat here. He's uh, It's a broken record. It's yeah, I'm reporting your videos. We're, it's defamation. Countdown. I always research my videos and I don't cover leaks or stolen cards. Well, I mean, yeah. D did you? Did you uh, Did you accidentally cover stolen cards? I mean, just because some of them were obtained by non-sketchy means. Just because uh, a small fraction... I don't even know. It's, I guess it's, it's probably an overall. I'll, most of the ones that are on the market right now are probably pretty sketchy. They're probably stores that are selling them instead of giving them out it's oh man it's such a friggin' mess it's such a shame that like that that's why we lose good things this this is why we lose good things people the stores keeping them and selling them on the secondary market to make a buck uh, but then also the stores are getting screwed over by the pokemon company and distributors so it's like a everyone is screwing everyone here Feel free to check when any of the people are tagged. They'll confirm I spoke to them. Yeah, well, one of them gave you a card or traded you a card, and you only spoke to them afterwards. And it's a brand new Twitter account that was made, like, for the sake of telling you they had the Finian. That's pretty sketchy. I don't want to look into it. I don't even, I don't even care at this point. You know what? You guys have your, your, your sketchy staffs. Um... And I, I don't know. And I'm jaded on it. I don't like it. It sucks. It sucks that they're not going to the right people. Uh, and um, it sucks that, like, it sucks that the money's going to either stores that are not giving them out the way they're supposed to be for what they're intended for. And it also sucks that some of them were almost certainly stolen. You made a video that gives untrue information to the public to make them think poorly of me. I mean, you said untrue information as well. You kind of left out the fact that there were some that were stolen. You left out the fact that months in advance people had these things. Uh, and you left out the, all of the receipts. You, you didn't have the emails, I don't think, even at that point in time when you made the videos. You didn't include it. You didn't include an actual source um, other than, like, one dude that kind of, you're like, hey, this dude said that said that he had them or something I, he like barely name dropped them and I don't even know who it is I don't know if anyone knows who it is that's textbook and defamation I'm glad you kept your textbook if the video is still up in 20 here's the countdown if the video is still up in 24 hours it will be reported for defamation cheers um, what was it was it the show 24 hours that had that like sound whenever they like mentioned how much time was left uh, if I wasn't as lazy as you are with my videos, I would edit that in. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. This is the screenshot in Spanish the person wanted to send you. More proof that they are legit. I've proven it a lot now. It's time to delete the video. So, uh, yeah, they did send me that. I think this was the same one. Um, if not, it was also in Spanish. Thank you, though, for double sending it to me. I appreciate that. My, my DMs do work. I can talk to people. 
I have the ability to do so. Uh, and especially when people are being kind and trying to provide uh, some information that's useful to everyone, I will absolutely talk to them. All right, so screenshot. Okay, so here's the deal. I have a good reputation in the TCG community. You are attempting to hurt that reputation by publishing untrue statements about me. I will be reporting the video if not taken down, and I reserve the right to take legal action for defamation as this is a civil offense. So, like, not only is he just, like, going off in the DMs here, but he's also going off in, like, countless tweets. Yeah, again, he deleted them all, but you get, you guys get the point. It's mostly this, just publicly posted, and then also posted here. I don't know what the purpose of, was of posting it everywhere. Uh, he got some back pats. Hopefully some people made him feel better about the whole thing. Uh, you, um, it's okay, guys. I don't need the back pats. Save your back pats for the Wasi. He needs them. He needs them more now than ever. And again, this is not even a big deal. None of it is a big deal. He's making it a big deal. I don't really care. In terms of your statements, I can use the following. Okay, so here he's going to give us some uh, some examples, and we're going to have to we're going to have to bring up some clips. I am going to have to edit a little bit, which is a pain in the ass, but we'll do it for this for the sake of context. Your thumbnail says no research. I can prove it's true. I did the research. So I guess like it should say it should say minimal research or bare minimum research or reckless research and not just no research it's, or some research. Some re <laughs> I'll change it to some research. We'll see who notices before this video goes live. <laughs> I can prove it's true. I did the research. <laughs> You use my thumbnail in the video where you say the cards were stolen. I have proven that untrue. I mean, I'd like to say that just a, a, a good chunk of them were stolen. Or, I guess at this point, do, do they count as stolen if a game store is selling them and they're not supposed to and are breaking their contract? Are they stealing the cards at that point? Kinda? Because they're supposed to destroy them or give them out as part of their agreement. So they're kind of stealing them. They're breaking the agreement. I don't know if it's actual theft. I don't know how that works. Maybe the Wasi can tell us with his his teachings. We can we can get his his opinion on it. We'll, everyone, say hi to the Wasi down below, uh, and ask him: yeah, Is it theft for a game store to sell them when they're not supposed to, and it's in a contract? Oh wait. I can go through the video and copy down a lot more statements, but these two will do. What? Okay. In terms of evidence to support my claims. Um, he talked to Adam Perry. My apologies, Adam, but I don't know who you are. He says, Hey, Adam, can you please confirm that you work at the game store and were sent the promos by Pokemon? Can you confirm that you told me this, please? <clears throat> he says, I am the league leader of a Pokemon league, and they went were sent by Pokemon. Yeah. Why is it? Sad face? <laughs> oh, wait. Correction. Happy face. So maybe it's like, isn't a UK thing? Is everyone in the UK? Does are all the maybe the, all the tournament organizers? They're all just if they don't put smiley faces on the end of things, they die. That's why he was so quick to correct his sad face. <laughs> Here was the proof from a league leader that he told me they're legit. I don't like that's not the kind of receipts that I work with or that I want to see. Um. And as, I mean, what? Okay, All right. I I mean, already the email is more more proof than I needed. I get it. I get it at this point. Again, none of this was included in your video. Just for the record, if anyone wants to to know what happened in that video, and none of this, none of this was there. Not not even not even a trace. Again, he had to do the research after I told him that he didn't do the research. From, from what it looks like, from what it looks like. Don't take that out of context. Here is an email from Pokemon confirming they're legit. Here's pictures of cards sent to it. We already looked at all these. So these were all posted like publicly. Again, he's like reposting them into the DM for some, some reason, just in case like, I get, I get it. I'm not crying on Twitter, but I know how to use Twitter. I have seen all of these already. Thank you though, Ross, you're very helpful. You'll notice none of these are anonymous. You can check with them if you like. 
So I've identified untrue statements. I've proven they're untrue. They're published as they're on your YouTube. I can pick comments to show it's making me look bad. Delete the video. I'm not joking. I will be taking action. I say I think I may have skimmed over the evidence on the legitimately obtained Cinderace that you were creaming your pants over. Can you send me that when you get a chance the statements i chose to mention don't refer to cinderace i have proof for it but it's a private conversation um well there wasn't there was the not so private conversation that we're i guess we're just going to ignore and hope that rattle doesn't see it where people were showing you the other promos that we're not there's no backstory to them whatsoever uh, we're going to ignore the cgc graded stuff that happened months in advance before any of this stuff was officially released i'd love to see the receipts can can we see can we see the receipts I, again i always love to see the receipts if i'm wrong on something i will gladly be wrong on it but please just show me what happened i've been so sick and tired of this these promos and people saying no you're wrong on it they're real they're released they were released and it's been going on since they ever were introduced long before this and no one can ever show the receipts but we finally got the receipts. Thank you, for the love of God, for everyone that showed the receipts on this. That's the best thing that happened here. I mean, it's also funny that we're Ross is losing his shit, but I proof for it. But it's a private conversation. I'm not at the liberty to share. <laughs> but the comments I showed without Cinderace amount to defamation. I don't want to report your video, but you've seen the mountain of proof. You've seen the comments and retweets for your tweet. I will take action. Please just delete the video. It will be better for everyone. Smiley face. I don't care. I'm not deleting the video. Um, I'm happy to admit that I was wrong in the video, that, uh, that there are some of the, the promos are legitimately released. Some of them are not. Um, you didn't address the ones that were not. I think that's an important piece that you missed. Uh, I also think that you, you should have had the, the information. You should have had that email. I mean, there's multiple people that had that email uh, that could have sent it to you. Uh, you could have included it. It would have been, that would have been maybe the best Wasi video to ever exist because it wasn't just a picture of a new card that doesn't matter um, for playability that you're pretending it does. And this is coming from someone that bare minimum dabbles in the TCG world. When I can smell the BS of 12 minutes of telling me that this V that doesn't do anything special, you want it to do something real special because you, you got to fill that time slot, but it just doesn't. It doesn't. Again, okay, we're going to dial back on the hostility. I, it's funny. It's I'm, I'm trying to be funny. We, we can have a beer over this if you'd like. Unblock me. Come on in the Discord. Join on that Saturday. Um, we'll have a uh, the the happy hour. I mean, it won't be too late there. Yeah, you should be. Come on there. Grab a beer. We'll be all right. I'll give you. I'll give. I'll blow you a kiss or something on webcam. Uh, it'll be. Uh, it'll be a grand old time. It states in relations to those promos, the ones. The one on the thumbnail, not Cinderace. So like, you you can't cherry pick what I'm criticizing here. I didn't do my research. No, the, that video was lacking research. I should have said lacking research, not no research. I know, it was an over-exaggeration. It was a thumbnail. There was only so much space on it. It was pretty clear. Uh, and also, the, the, the title still makes sense because at this point we have sketchy, probably stolen, because they were so damn early and there was no sign of any of them being released. Then we have game stores selling them that shouldn't sell them, so extra sketchy. And then we have the like the odd occasion that someone was actually given these promos that ran events, and they are now selling them. So like, there's like there's like three categories there, and then I guess we can make a fourth category for like the crap that CGC graded and shouldn't have. But again, we had a statement from the Pokemon Company. There has been none on this one. Other than like the the included items that they were sending out, there was no like actual statement or anything in terms of like, hey, pre-release promos are back, and we're giving you the backlogged ones. That that never happened. It was just part of this this thing that I don't think either of us saw until the the whole shenanigans on on Twitter. 
All right. Anyway, back to the back to the the DMs. We have proven that's not true. Please take the word of someone who will taught the law for years. You're going to lose this. Can please just stop it here? So like, dude, I, I get. I, we can stop. We can stop any time now. I'm not gonna take the video down, but I I'm gonna make a follow up. So and I'm gonna tell you here. If your only defense is the Cinderace, I'm not claiming in. I'm not claiming in relation to that. I'm claiming in relation to the five sets shown on the thumbnail. But I can get proof of for the Cinderace if this goes to court. Look at the comments and QTs of your own tweet. You messed up. Please make it right. I No, I'm not going to bend the knee to you and your wiener babies. Your wiener baby army. I don't care. I'll gladly stir up the the Twitter pot, if you will. But I don't. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not going to take it down. If you want to uh, false flag the living hell out of it, and to the point that it goes down, I'm probably going to make fun of you for it, and and that's that's about it. But I'm not taking it down. I I will gladly admit that I was missing information. Uh, I didn't talk to the right people to get that information. Um, and um, yeah, that's that's about it. I, you didn't have the entirety of that information. You definitely didn't have it on hand. You didn't have it in your video because you could have easily just blocked out who it was sent to and included that on there and it would have been like, oh yeah, look at how good I am at investigating this crap. I, I'm, it's not just it's not just three screenshots of the promos that are just copy-pasted onto a slideshow. Yeah, evidence. I mean... I mean, my video probably wouldn't even have existed if they, well, yeah, maybe, maybe it would have, because then I would have covered like, why are the old ones stolen, but the new ones are not stolen. Now they're getting released, but we had some that must have been taken from like either distribution or like printing or something beforehand, which is weird. I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing, but I mean, the same thing happened. Somebody's filling their pockets w with this sort of stuff. Uh, even in, in terms of like, we saw that special delivery Zard was stolen like way before um, the actual promos were released. How long till like people want special delivery Zard? Soon? Or pretty soon? Now that it's not available, but it was very available. And then people didn't want it anymore, kind of like Charizard UPC. You're welcome to make a second video that doesn't defame me. But right now, you need to remove the defamatory video. You need to do it now. So, no, I'm going to make a second video. It's this video. We're going to joke in it. That's what we do here. We're, we're jokers. It's, we're jokers. <laughs> and uh, we're going to joke about it. I don't... I, I, loosen up. Loosen up a little bit here. It's going to be fine. Um, I was wrong on one aspect. The fact that uh, they're without being shown by you or anyone else, uh, did not know about the, the actual release of these things. I was calling full BS because, again, everyone that I talked to about it could not provide me the backstory on it. Come to find out, that's probably because the game store sold them to them, uh, which is also a no-no in the go-go. It was criticism and skepticism not defamation. So I think that's entirely it. So criticizing, I can criticize your video. You can criticize my video if you want. I mean, you're kind of, you kind of are, right? Um, because you're saying that it's, it's defamation and that it's, it was uh, so wrong in so many ways. Oh my goodness. It was so wrong. Um, it was, it, that's all it was. Criticism, skepticism. I didn't think you did research. I don't think he did. I still don't think he did all that much research. Um, yes, did it take some research? Did you have to copy-paste the images onto the, the thing? Did you talk to someone at some point that said that the game store had them come in? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you probably did. Good job. There you go. Pat on the back. Slap on the, slap on the butt cheek. All right. I will obviously be checking the second video for any instances of defamation, so please be very careful to only use facts, smiley face. All right, um, so I guess maybe we should make this extra long. I mean, it's already going to be very long, but maybe we should make it extra long just so that we get Ross to, to give us some view time here. There were only facts and clearly stated opinions in the video today. So, that's the thing. So, we have... Um, 
Yuri says, I have explained in great detail how is defamation three parts. I mean, now he's making me a list. Making an untrue statement, see above. Publishing two thirds parties, see, see all of. Damage reputation, see your comment section. What? Have you seen my comment section? Usually it's people being mad at me. It's fine. I don't care. It shouldn't bother you either. If it does, you. It's hard to say, but you probably shouldn't be making videos. Or turn the comment section off. That's always an option. But Your thumbnail is literally defamatory. Oh, he's turning into a valley girl now. <laughs> Your title is literally defamatory. I have explained this. So, no, the title it still stands up. The title still makes sense, even after I made a mistake. Because now you have to be certain that they weren't the stolen ones or that they're not the ones coming from the, the sketchy game stores that are selling them before the, the staff get them. They say staff on them, not game store owner. Free tendies. For a reason. The, t <laughs> the title doesn't even mention you. Dude, I saw from your tweets you four strikes recently. I am trying so hard to be good guy and stop you getting more strikes. I should have reported it by now. So and, and they're not strikes. Um, they can be. You can false flag things all you want, and it won't. It's not necessarily going to result in a strike. You have to do something pretty bad for a strike. Um, and um, me getting something wrong, one aspect of a video wrong, is not only is it not defamation. Um, but it is, it's also not strike worthy. So my apologies for that. You should probably go back to, um, learning about the things that you were teaching about and dial back the smiley faces for the love of God. It's my opinion that the cards without providence were stolen. I don't have any strikes. Yes, but it's false. You don't get to make a statement that that is factually incorrect and call it an opinion. It's still false. And the title is attached to a video with my thumbnail in. Of course, it mentions me. Yeah, you were in the video at the start there. You probably didn't watch beyond the start. Um, or you would have seen all the other crap. But If you want to waste money on a lawyer who is going to tell you that I'm allowed to share my opinion on the internet, go to town. Please, let's resolve this without you getting a strike for defamation. <laughs> like, no, I told you what I'm going to do. It does mention you because your video was lazy and these cards have been stolen up until recent. It says no research. That's oh, okay. We're going to change that. I'm still not sure what I'm going to change it to, but we are going to change that. Look at my Twitter, my dude. So much research. That was after. That was after. Ross, Ross, that doesn't count as research for a video. You do not have a time machine. That is not how it works. Just the same way that I had every belief in the world that when I was making that video, that there were no legitimately obtained copies. We now learn that there are some that are coming out right now. And then even some of those are being tainted, but they are coming out. I did not know that. That was not a thing. I had no evidence of that. It was not in your video. You did not include it. You probably did not have the emails or you would have included them, but that's it. Or maybe you would be scared of Pokemon if you posted that in your video. It says stolen. They're not. And I would. It says, yeah, it says stolen. It said they should be assumed that they're stolen if they're, if they're not proven. Can you not read? And I would bet money I can find 10 defamatory statements in your video. 10 because then I would stop. <laughs> oh, thank, thank goodness. If he had 11, he might have a case. One found two in the first minute. So, okay, okay, okay. okay. We're going to, he actually brings these down below. So they're just copy pasted. You don't say I think or it's my opinion. You, these are stolen. I found eight defamatory statements in the first one minute, 36 sex. Uh, so first one, the first two here, we got to, we got to look at the actual clips to make sure that he's not like clipping something out of context because we wouldn't want that. We wouldn't want that to happen. So at, uh, apparently at seven seconds in, I say staff promos so that never happened. And he says, I proved they did. So let's take a look at that clip. Surely, um, 
surely there's no extra context added on to this clip. It's, 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 I'm only going to say, start to finish, staff promos that never happened. Yeah, staff pre-release promos that never happened, that kind of happened, that are kind of popping up here. Oh no, you, you guys were not supposed to hear that last part, and you definitely shouldn't hear the probably in this part here, where he says, at 22 seconds, where I say, without a shadow of a doubt, that these are stolen. So, surely I wouldn't add a probably in there, even in the, like, minute little thing that he's going to clip up in order to try to prove that I was saying these things as statement throughout the entire video, that none of this was my opinion. No probably. Check it. I'm going to go ahead and it, there's probably without a shadow of a doubt that these are stolen. These are backdoored. All right. So, now that we got those out of the way, uh, those are very easy to slightly add more context and more actual uh, video footage in order to see what was actually said it, even even by slightly extending it you can see that i was not talking in absolutes wussy you're you're a you're a pussy wussy and a good try like i don't have the footage to my own video that i can just go check to see if you're lying here oh my god what a loser all right 57 we have <laughs> and there's nothing proving that they are that they were at any point. Um, no, there wasn't. There wasn't anything at the time. I, there, there just straight up wasn't. We didn't have any of that information. I didn't have any of that information. I mean, you, you could have included in your video and then I wouldn't have had to make that point, I guess. We wouldn't have had to discover that together on Twitter after your video or after my video and after your rampage. When 12, we have a very lazy, very irresponsible video from PTCG Radio, proven false. So, I mean, lazy is pretty subjective. I mean, I would classify most of my videos as, as lazy. They're lazy in terms of editing. Uh, I just spend more time on research, and maybe you, it takes you a long time to make those PowerPoint presentations that you slap together for your, your children that you're teaching law to, apparently. Uh, you would think you'd be well-practiced, but... Um, I'm also going to argue that it still was irresponsible because you did not cover anything in terms of the stolen cards. You were pumping a Cinderace that does not have a, uh, still to this point, does not have any proof that it was actually pulled from anything. Um, and then we, we even saw that you, after, after your video was posted and before my video was posted, uh, were introduced to other, the, the chilling man. Let, let's. We're just gonna go ahead and pretend that you had all the information uh, that showed up on Twitter today from all of the very kind people that provided it for you. Very nice of them to do your work for you. Uh, very nice of them to offer to give you those cards that you definitely did not e-bag for. Uh, good, good work, Pokemon community. You take care of little little Rossi Poo here uh, with his little smiley faces. You gotta keep them smiling. Keep on smiling, Rossi. Keep on doing it. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> All right. So here at 119, he's he's saying, um, I said, he's creating fake credibility. I mean, so this is also kind of true still. In the, and it's weird how much all of this is still true, even though I was missing that key piece of information. Um, you were creating fake credibility. Were you not? I mean, you were... You were adding credibility to all of the copies that were that were being sold previously because you never mentioned that the, the ones that were sold previously don't have any provenance to them, like the ones that were graded by CGC. You didn't mention those at any point in your video. Um, and uh, whether it was intentional or not is a whole different argument. I, I don't think I said that you were intentionally creating fake credibility for them. Uh, the fact that you, at the end, dry humped just did all kinds of nasty furry porn type things metaphorically uh, to that cinder race that you claim that you would never be able to buy because it's so expensive and so awesome. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. They, they, you were adding credibility to that as well. Um, yes, there's been articles and stuff on it. No, I, without actually seeing where that came from, without seeing where the packs, where the, the people are sending you pictures of other packs that weren't actually released, that didn't have... It's the same way that if I didn't have the information that I didn't have... I would have had my doubts. I always have my doubts. I got to see it. I've seen it. I believe it. Uh, there are some that were released. 
there are some that were before that and do not. And maybe someday, maybe there'll be some kind of excuse for why they got out and that it was on purpose. It was a different game store got sent them early or something like that. But until I see irrefutable evidence on that, I doubt, hard doubt, doubt to oblivion. 126, they have no proven origin whatsoever. I mean, no, they didn't until until we had that. You say, I have proven it. Yeah, you, pro- you you proved it afterwards. So even if we're if we're saying that I'm like criticizing your video, your video did not include any of that proof. So well, why am I not allowed to to criticize the fact that you didn't provide that? That's that's kind of how it works. I'm, I'm I'm definitely allowed to if I haven't seen any proof, ask for proof. That's not defamation. That's asking for proof. <sighs> or expecting proof when you're going to make statements like that. 134 the Pokemon company has stated there is no official way to obtain these cards. They, they certainly did. This is the main reason, and this is what they told PSA, who was looking into whether or not they should grade them. The, the previous ones, not the ones that just came out. So maybe they'll reconsider now that the other ones have come out. Um, but again, who knows? Who knows if they do? Um, and, and he says, you've seen multiple emails from Pokemon. So again, like you can't, you can't just magically judge my criticism, um, and my calling your, your lacking video that was lacking the information that was required to make these sort of statements, um, and, and say that I've seen multiple emails from Pokemon. Cause I saw those after the fact, I saw those after the video. I know you don't understand time, but that's how it works. Put the fucking smiley faces down you, you can't just say like, oh, yeah, but Rattle, you were wrong because you didn't know this thing that I showed you afterwards. And you didn't even show me. It was other people that showed me. I don't even think you totally had, you didn't even have remotely that much information because you could have, you could have easily immediately sent me a message that showed the, the email if you had it with, the, with the, the who it was to blocked out on it. You didn't have that information. I'm calling your bluff. Again, it's this is my opinion that you didn't have it. I can't prove that you didn't have it, but I don't think you had it. Or you, that that would have been the easiest. Here, this is what it was. This is where I got it. Confirmation that could have possibly existed. I would have been making the same video. Um, no, I wouldn't have removed the previous video. I again, I'm not going to bend the knee to you and your 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 twit twit twatters. I don't care what you think. One thirty six. Nothing has been said since then. So once again, this is all the same crap. This is all the same like, okay, so you didn't know about the emails. Um, I don't, again, I don't think he knew about the emails, but nothing has been said since then because nothing that I heard had been said since then. So did I miss, did I misphrase this? I'm not even going to go in and see if there's more context to this because it probably is. Again, when you look at the first two and he's already cherry picking out uh, like <laughs> the probabilities and the, uh, that type of thing out of, out of my comments. Like, what is it? What is your point here? Like, you're wasting your time. Um, you're kind of wasting my time, but I don't know. I just, what, whatever, whatever you got to do, whatever you got to do to justify, um, whatever this is. This is all taking, this is all talking about my video and how wrong I am, given that you're referring specifically to my video and these eight statements that are wrong that is defamation. So is this anytime? Does someone like comment in the comment section or or anything like that and you fucking lose your shit and threaten them with lawsuits? Is that what is that what goes on behind the scenes? Would you do this to anyone that was criticizing or doubting anything that you've said in a video? I don't think that's exactly how the world should work, but it's good to know that you think that's more important. Your feelings are more important than finding out what's actually going on here. Shows what kind of person you are, but you're not talking about Cinderace. You're talking about the five sets in the video. I mean, I was talking about all of it. You, you featured that in the video as well. I'm just talking about all of the pre-release promos that were that were released. You can see here he's talking to himself quite a bit. Um, and again, he was also just like tweeting a million tweets a second. Um, all the same crap, just on repeat. No, please, for the love that is all good in the world, take down the video. Now, correction. 
You know what? You've got an hour. Take it down or I'm reporting it. I've had enough of this. I've shown the statements that defame me are proven they are false. They are not opinions. They are untrue statements. Oh my god, he's so mad that he can't even spell anymore. I'm not dealing with this until tomorrow. Take it down or I'm reporting in an hour. Um, so I say, me being wrong about parts of it is not defamation. So I, was, I can't remember what I was even working on. Um, but in between, I come back and check to see what he was up to every now and then. I don't give a shit if he wants to count down whatever he's doing here. It literally is. Oh, Valley Girl's back. Like I've said, I will be making a follow-up to correct the parts that I was wrong about. And that's fine. I want a video removed. I have spoken to YouTube and confirmed the process for making a report. I am writing it now. I'm sending in 37 minutes. I've wasted enough time. You better not criticize anyone. I guess you're criticizing me. Should I report you back for criticizing me? Call it defamation. Fucking, you should know on YouTube that, like, it's enough of a pain in the ass with this shit. Um, that, like... You're just going to file crap over someone that was slightly mean to you and criticized your work. That's what it's coming down to. A smaller creator uh, that is criticizing your work, that's criticizing your lack of receipts in a video, uh, and you're going to have a fit and threaten me and go on about it. Again, it's it's I don't care. Maybe people would. Maybe this works. It's the same thing with this. Like, it's this like empty threat lawsuit nonsense that the scammers do as well. Uh, and it's it's crazy. I mean, wait. I guess this is gonna be the second time. Well, do, should I get should get it all done at once? Dan's Pokestop is gonna. He, I think he was having me shipped over, uh, for for some kind of uh, legal legal battle or something like that because I, um, I I criticized PSA for having a middleman. A, sm a small time, basically nobody middleman, uh, clean up the mess for the other PSA middleman that, that messed it all up. And th they decided to go that same route instead of just having their own PSA UK kind of branch. So he, not only that, but like I, I couldn't even see it coming. It was only, I think it was only a couple weeks later that he had a data breach uh, where he, he basically gave up all his customers' information uh, and then it, seemingly they tried to hide it, which is very a very big no-no. So then I I don't know he did the same crap. I haven't heard from him, but uh, apparently so maybe maybe we can just do like one big court party over there if you guys want to ship me over that'd be fine. Um, maybe we can we can do a little little meet and greet with some people while we're there. We can drink some tea. We can uh, we can make some clothing out of doilies or whatever the fuck you guys do over there. I'm, I'm, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. I'm sorry, people from the UK. It was a joke. We can eat beans for breakfast. <laughs> the definition of defamation is... Did you think he got his book out here? He got his, like, law, law for grade three <laughs> book out? Untrue statements. You admitted you were wrong about parts. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I'm wrong. I wasn't wrong at the time. It wasn't knowingly me knowingly saying things that were false. It was... It was me not having a piece of information that was very crucial. And believe me, I did more research, I, in my opinion, than you did uh, on your video. Not only that, it's included the, the previous examples. You somehow just wanted to omit those because you live in this like la-la land where you can not e-bag and not go on about how cool something is for 12 minutes. I'm uh, maybe Maybe I'm on a little bit of the uh, skeptical side, but I want to know um, and I want to dig into and make sure that things are actually legitimate. That's that's what I do. I don't give it. As I told, uh, hater, not haters, who's Ben? It was Ben. Um, I don't I don't want to see the cards. We get it. We know what they look like. We've seen a million staff stamps. We've seen the promos without the staff on them. Um, and seeing it with the staff on it is not important. What's important is figuring out uh, which of these, um, how and how and which of these, I guess which of these at this point, um, were obtained by sketchy means, either stolen, uh, and then now I guess we got up to deal with the new issue that is the game stores selling them off uh, instead of giving them to the staff who, uh, in turn, I mean, I don't know if there's any rules, and uh, hopefully someone can clarify that, if, if staff are allowed to sell those right away, 
Uh, I think it's more the game store that's limited on being able to sell them. So if the staff gets them and if they want to sell them right away, I don't know if it's frowned upon if they sell it right on the spot, but I mean, that's kind of how they're getting paid. So I, you can't really blame them if, if they'd rather have the money for that um, and use it if they want to use it on playable cards or uh, whatever they want to do or if they want to compensate themselves for the time that they spent organizing play. All right, made a third party. You made a YouTube video made to a third party, which affects the reputation of the subject of the comments. Check the comment section of your video. So I'm not allowed to criticize you because it's on YouTube. All right, all right, all right. I'm not bluffing here, my dude. I am not going to stand for it. I don't want a follow-up video. I want the video removed. I mean, that. yeah, but you don't have the choice. I already told you I'm making the follow-up video. Take it or leave it. I mean... No, I was gonna make. I was gonna make it anyway, even if you don't want it. Um, but uh, that's what I offered. That's what I was saying. You know, I, I don't. Uh, I don't know if you think this, that I'm gonna change my mind at some point here, but I'm not. Please, no. I will watch the follow-up video, and if defamatory comments are made, I will report that one too. So now we're getting the battle of Ross is going to have a full-time job. Just we're gonna we're gonna make sure he's mentioned in every video while he's throwing his little tantrum here. Uh, just so that he can, he has to watch through each one. I'll throw it in at random, random little intervals. We'll throw in a little Ross joke every now and then, uh, so that he has to watch them all and report them all. Fucking get a life. Did I knowingly make untrue statements or shared opinions? I've already said it's only getting a follow-up video. You made untrue statements. What I think you're referring to are the defenses to defamation one of which is truth, but we've disproven that. The other one you're thinking of is that it was a statement of opinion, but you stated it as fact. I mean, yeah, I stated it as fact as long as you crop out all the words around all of it. it sure, yeah, it's very, very fact. Or can, can you use, sir, can we just use sarcasm? You said things like, without a shadow of a doubt, the, these are stolen. We already covered this. That's not an opinion. Yeah, it's not an opinion when you when you crop off both sides of it. Fucking Ross, god damn it. Dude, like and, and just going. I'm surprised I even replied this much. You're under the impression that I time traveled after seeing the emails and made the video? And this was very easily checked. You chose to make statements you could have checked but didn't. No, I'm saying that ironically. You should have <laughs> researched before making the video like I did. Yeah, but you had to you had to call on Twitter to do your research for you afterwards, right? Is that not what happened? Maybe I'm mistaken. Can someone let me know what happened there? Did he just say like, "Hey guys, can I see some receipts?" And like everyone was like, "Here's some receipts." The the you know the ones that he should have shown in the video, but he didn't because he didn't ask for them. Probably. I see. See the probably on the end there. He's gonna crop that off. <laughs> the same cards were stolen up until recently. They were graded before in March of this year. I'm not arguing with you. You, I mean, you kind of are. At nine point three zero UK time, it's been reported. Um, so, do you guys always use a period for your time, or is that is that a thing? I taught law for with an e thirteen years. I taught defamation for most of those years. I promise you, I really know what I'm talking about. Smiley face, uh, your smiley faces don't say so much about that. I say, this man, I probably shouldn't have been as bean as I was here, but I, <laughs> I say, go cry yourself to sleep then. I learned to take criticism and accept the fact that I'll be following up with the parts that I was wrong about. And he says, it's being reported in 30 minutes. What, wasn't the little drinker the, oh, he was from Liverpool too. The guy that wanted like the, uh, the reward for selling proxy cards to Justin. Proxy card UK guy. He did the same thing, like stupid countdown crap, like a child. I say, I don't give a shit if you taught basic law to some snot-nosed kids. Clearly, you weren't smart enough to become a lawyer. I played hockey, but I'm not claiming to be a professional. <laughs> I don't know. There was probably a better example that I could have used there. All right, I take my clothes off to shower, but I'm not a stripper. Yeah, yeah there we go. I'm not... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, not, I'm not taking it down and would just like to advise against false flagging it and go get some sleep. <laughs> not a false flag, my dude. I know my stuff. I know you're trying to convince me not to send it. I mean, that's the first, I think that was the first time I told him not to send it. I think that was the first and only time I told him not to send it. I just said I would advise against it. I mean, is that is that the battle that you want that you want to get in a, a, a flag battle? Do you want to play capture the flag? Is that what we're doing? Pretty pretty good at that. I've explained in exhaustive detail how I know it's the right now. If you don't remove the video, of course you're trying to talk me out of it, smiley face. I don't. I, it seems like you're talking about me trying to talk you out of it more than I ever even tried to talk you out of it. I mean, if if this is what makes you feel better, if this makes you a big man, you can't take criticism. You gotta like false flag videos because your feelings are hurt. Do it. Pro prove to us that you're a little pussy wussy, uh, pussy wassy, and fucking <laughs> report the video. Fucking loser. God damn it. Even if it doesn't hold up, and I am extremely confident it will, it's an honest report backed up by facts. It's not a false report. Um, so, I, dude, I've already seen this. We've already looked at this. Email from Pokemon with their email address showing the legitimacy of the promos. Your statements are untrue. So, yeah, but you didn't prove all of the promos. The thing is, I was talking about different promos. Um... We're not talking about the same promos. Some of the new promos, yeah, those are good. Apparently they're good. As long as they went to actual people that were running the events, no problems. A-OK. -okay. I totally agree at this point in time. Uh, and uh, did not have that information before, but there still are a large chunk of these, uh, all of the ones that were released prior to that. Uh, and I'm still under the belief until I see some absolute proof that the Cinderace was the same thing, that those Chilling Rain promos were the same thing. Did they say? Yeah, they said that there was battle styles as well, but we didn't see a photo of those, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, but uh, but yeah, maybe we'll, we'll have to inquire about those. We'll, we'll figure out where those came from. Uh, seemingly not the same place. Seemingly not legitimate means. But again, this is my opinion. This is why we're looking into this stuff. If I knew everything from the get-go, this wouldn't be very fun. Uh, and if we had every single piece of information, then it would it, it would be that. The video would be that. It'd be like, here's what happened. This is exactly it. It might be a little bit boring because I'm, um, like, I'm just, it's just a, it's just a PowerPoint present, presentation at that point, right? Right, Wasi? You know what those are about, don't you? <laughs> uh, your statements are untrue. I have proven this. You have 10 minutes. Make a better video tomorrow. Do your research and delete the one today. If I'm right about defamation, it is not worth the harm it will do to your channel. So threatening my channel now, threatening defamation lawsuits, threatening my channel. Um, making like, I don't give a shit that you made like a public spectacle of it. And you had some like PTCG radio. Um, what are the little fish called that like hang out on the wings of the not the wings the fins of the shark i need to go to bed i think this is uh this is uh we gotta round this up here if i'm wrong i'll get an email saying it wasn't proven and thanking me for making a report well it's still up please remember that i tried really hard to give you the benefit of the doubt and asked nicely to remove it no you didn't you threatened me the whole time you can eat a fat cock in hell fuck you wussy Suck a fat dick, motherfucker. That's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Join the Discord. See you next time. Bad language sometimes. When we're, when we're feeling it. Tonight we're feeling it. Today we're feeling it. I guess today we're feeling it. I didn't record this the night before. Immersion broken. Love you guys. See you next time. Um, again, this is a non-issue. I don't really care. Uh, it's cool that we found out that uh, they are actually releasing them now. Uh, and that's pretty much it. But I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with someone that is going to uh, send some threats. Uh, I don't know if he's done this to anyone else in a similar manner, manner but uh, it seems like it's a, a trend with him with the stupid legal crap. Who cares? Go go read the kids again. They're your law. Law for dummies or whatever the fuck you picked up at. Do they have chapters over there? I don't know what they have over there. The bookstores that they have over there in the UK. See ya! <laughs>